Hello, today's video we have the following content. In Walking with the Phoenix, Zhao Lin did not use the original voice but used dubbing. She was criticized for her response, there are so many excuses. Whether actors should use their own voices for acting or whether they can choose to use dubbing has been discussed many times. The new drama Traveling with Phoenix starring Zhao Lin and Lin Jenxin is about to be aired, and the issue of Zhao Lin's dubbing in the drama has been repeatedly mentioned. Recently, in order to allow actors to use their own voices for dubbing, many TV dramas have also been on the hot search list several times due to the issue of original voice or dubbing. It is reasonable that actors' dubbing skills are not as good as those of professional dubbing actors. After all, they are more professional than you. Moreover, there are also many people who use their own original voices to cause the audience to be confused. Zhao Liying responded that Walking with the Phoenix was a dubbing. She said, I tried many styles and made a lot of designs. I already dubbed the second version myself at the beginning but still felt it was not suitable. In the end, I decided to choose a voice that everyone is more comfortable with to substitute the character. At the press conference, Zhao Liying also mentioned her dubbing teacher and thanked her for being able to complete the role of Shen Li with her. Judging from Zhao Liying's response, it was not that she didn't want to dub, she just made this decision because her voice was not suitable. As soon as her response hit the hot search list, fans came to support her. Fans think Zhao Liying's attitude is normal, knowing that she will be scolded but still choosing to dub. She reluctantly made the decision out of a serious and responsible attitude towards the work, suitability for the role, and consideration for the public. In order to present the effect of a passionate animation and traveling with the Phoenix, rather than deliberately pursuing the original dubbing, this is the actor's self-cultivation. The reason why she was willing to tell everyone at the press conference that she was willing to tell everyone must also know that she would have to accept a new round of trial. This time she is willing to respond head on to the dubbing issue of traveling with the Phoenix, which just shows that she has a correct attitude. Fans also said that Zhao Liying is not without her own original voice in her masterpieces. Wind Blowing Pinellia and Happiness Comes to 10,000 Houses both have classic voice performances. There is nothing wrong with actors whose original voices are popular and dramas choosing to dub in order to better fit their roles, but we can see the problem from Zhao Liying's dubbing. Judging from the table, Zhao Liying's original voices are almost all modern dramas, while ancient puppet dramas mostly use dubbing. Zhao Liying's voice is more suitable for some modern dramas. On the other hand, ancient dramas such as The You Know Should Be Green, Fat, Red, and Thin received a lot of criticism when it was broadcast. Therefore, some people in the square still disagreed with her statement, and they felt that she had many excuses. Netizen one said, Zhao Liying's fans praise her for her excellent acting skills, but it turns out that when she is nearly 40 years old, she still needs to dub for a role in an ancient puppet. She has a lot of excuses for not being able to do it. I am really convinced. Netizen two said, as long as I don't find a dubbing that is so close to her voice, her statement today is still somewhat credible. She said at the press conference that she had already been dubbed twice and felt that she chose one that suited the role, her own voice. The dubbing teacher came to dub Shen Li's voice, which means it's not a problem with the timber, it's a problem with her poor lines. Netizen 3 said, Zhao Liying's own original voice has a very rural flavor, so it is only suitable for modern dramas. When she is dubbed by ancient puppets, she will start acting immediately. The lines are not up to standard and it is difficult to judge her after so many years of debut in her accent. The interpretation of opportunism is fresh and refined. In the future, actors can use dubbing openly. It is inappropriate to ask, respect the role. In fact, if she dubs, she will dub, and if she is criticized, she will be criticized. Fans do not need to whitewash her. Since Zhao Liying chose to use dubbing, she was ready to be laughed at. So someone said in the square, anyone who dubs can say this in the future. Ren Jilin can finally dub, and the original voice no longer has to be laughed at. Netizens feel that Zhao Liying's response has too many excuses, and it is understandable. For example, Sun Li's original voice in ancient costume is not good, but her subsequent choice is not to act in ancient costume. Since Zhao Liying feels that her ancient dolls are not suitable for her and her voice is inappropriate for her age and age, then give up on the ancient doll market. Nowadays, Many young people need opportunities to express themselves, and ancient puppets are more suitable for young people. The reason for not dubbing is for the sake of the audience. The co-author believes that the original soundtrack of Do You Know Should Be Green, Fat, Red, and Thin was poison in the ears of the audience. Furthermore, choosing to use dubbing is out of respect for the audience. So in the future, acting, 
stand-ins, and lip-syncing will all be about respecting the audience? I have to say that the public opinion on this matter is really the public is right and the mother-in-law is right, but judging from the self-feeling of following her since she was a child, since Zhao Liyin is not good at dubbing ancient puppet plays, she should continue to choose modern dramas. Originally, Zhao Liyin was old enough, and filming a love scene in an ancient puppet show would be embarrassing and embarrassing. She might as well do her own transformation work and take on a modern drama.